Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is finally springtime here in New Zealand. The birds are chirping outside, the sun is shining, there are flowers blossoming on the trees, and this is possibly my favorite time of year. The anticipation of not being cold anymore, getting out all my beautiful spring and summer dresses, and just being warm. And that is exactly what we're gonna be doing in today's video. I'm gonna be putting away a bunch of my thick winter jumpers, getting out my beautiful spring and summer dresses. I have a whole bunch of new things that I've bought in preparation for spring, so I'm very excited to get them into my wardrobe and to be able to start wearing them. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I upload at least one new video every single week and I do one of these seasonal wardrobe changeovers at the start of every season so I'll have that playlist linked in the description box down below as well as up in the card if you do want to go and check out the other ones. I actually think I'm going to do this seasonal changeover a little bit differently from normal. I am going to start by going through what's already in my wardrobe and pulling out the things that I don't need but after that I think we're going to pile all my clothes on the bed and pick through them because otherwise I feel like I miss things. If I'm like rummaging through my out of season box of clothes sometimes I feel like I miss things that are like at the bottom or underneath things and I just don't end up remembering that they're even in there. So we're gonna pile it all on the bed and make sure I'm seeing everything. But to start let's go through what's already in here. I do have the hanging section as well as a couple of little shelves. This shelf is for exercise gear so I'm not going through this one but I do have a bunch of my jumpers on this bottom shelf here and I also have an entire drawer full of jumpers over there as well. So let's go through that first. Let's start with the jumpers on the shelf here. This is my jumper dress. This is so thick, so warm. Loved it in winter, definitely won't be able to wear it in spring. This is a cashmere knit which is a bit thinner so I think I might actually keep that one. This one's really nice but I got so much wear out of it in winter I think I just need something different. I'm definitely going to keep wearing my Hogwarts jumper. That's nice and not too thick as as well. I think I probably will still wear this. This is my plain black woolen jumper. That can be like my colder days jumper. And then these two here are both really chunky, really thick and warm. So I think I will pop those ones away for spring. Here we have the rest of my jumpers as well as some layering pieces under here. This spot is for the jumper that I'm wearing today. So I think I'm going to keep this one because this is quite thin. This will be perfect for spring. I don't know that I need to keep two blue jumpers. This one is 100% wool so this one is much warmer. So I might take that one out. These two are also both 100% wool, um, but I feel like I might still need one of them for really cold days. I think I'm going to keep the... Am I going to keep the green one? No, I'm going to keep the orange one. Pop this one away. And then that one is a cardigan, which I think will be nice um, for transitional weather. So we'll go with that for now. And then... Uh, I think for the shirts, I'll put them all on my bed when we get to that stage, but I won't go through them right now. And then for the hanging section, the dressing gown is just there because there's nowhere else for me to put it, so that's going to have to stay. Blazer I think will be perfect for spring. Um, hoodie is just, you know, one of my go-to loungewear pieces. I definitely still want that. This also, I think, is perfect for spring. This is a little um, jumper that you can cinch in at the waist. These trousers, I think, are perfect for this time of year. They're quite lightweight. Shall I put away my black jeans? I don't really think I need them for spring. These jeans are perfect though. And then I'm wearing my blue jeans. I haven't decided about the blue jeans. Um, let me have a think about them for a bit. Um, but I think I am going to put away... I have these three faux leather trousers. I'm definitely putting away these two. They're not really spring colours. Shall I keep these ones in? No, I think I'm going to put these ones away as well. I'm just not really reaching for them. And then a skirt, which I definitely want to keep. Two um, long dresses and a white high neck top. I've got a few of my new pieces sitting here just waiting for me to do this video. I'm so excited to get them out. So next step is I get everything from everywhere and put it on my bed. So I've got these pieces. I've got the box full of out of season stuff which I'm so excited and then a bunch of stuff that I ignored when I was going through the drawers as well. So let's do it! Okay so here is everything that we haven't been through yet excluding 
um, winter coats. I have them up on a rail just behind where you're sitting right now. Um, I'm not going to go through them. Obviously, I'm not really going to be wearing coats in spring and summer. However, they're too bulky to fit into my plastic box that I put all my out of season clothes in. So, um, previously the solution for that was to put them in a wardrobe in a different room, but that room is currently leaking and it's getting a bit moldy in there, so I think the coats are going to have to stay where they are for now. Yeah, it's just one of those things, but we're not going through them in today's video. So, this is the pile that we're working with. This is a little Christmassy shirt. It's not Christmas until summer, so I think this one can wait until, you know, December. So I'm going to pop that back in the box. This dress is a definite... Yes, I love this. Spring and summer is the perfect time to break this one out. This one is also a yes, however I need to take this one to the tailor and kind of get it um, altered a little bit. This is one that Jonathan got for me off ASOS. Yes, I love this shirt. Spring is the perfect time for this as well. I don't think I need the cardigan. Oh, maybe. I might wear a little crop in spring. Let's get that out. And my little silky skirt. Yes, I might wear that. This is one of my new um, purchases from, a, I don't know, a month or two ago. This gorgeous lilac and pink dress. That one is definitely coming out. This little mini dress is just a bit too summery, I think. I think I'll leave that one until the next switch over. Same with this white dress. It's just short and off the shoulder, and I think Better for summer rather than spring. I love this. This one's definitely coming back out. This is the sort of thing, I know it looks really summery, but I put um, my white long sleeve high neck shirt underneath this and then it's super warm and easy to wear. I think I'm going to speed through this and you can just watch me do it at double time. Let's go. that I want to go back into my wardrobe and then these bits are ones that I want to go into my drawers as like there's a couple of different reasons some of it is loungewear like this jumper or something that I'm really only gonna wear at home same with this dress if I'm just like chilling um, some of them are pieces that spring is the most appropriate season for me to wear them but I'm not necessarily gonna be reaching for them all the time for example this dinosaur dress that I have for me show you. I have this gorgeous dinosaur dress that, I mean, spring is just the perfect time and my kids at school love it, um, but I remember from last spring I only wore it a couple of times, so I'll pop it in the, in the drawers rather than putting it in my wardrobe so that it's still there, it's accessible, but it's not on display with things that I want to be reaching for every day. So, next job is to go and put it back into the wardrobe.
so now that I've decided where everything's gonna go, I'm gonna give you a quick little run through. So here I have dresses at the front. So I've got my newest ones at the front here so that I can just see them and decide which one I want every day. Then, you know, some of my older dresses that I haven't seen in a while. So I've got them right there and then these are the two dresses that I already had in my wardrobe for winter, so I've popped them at the back of the dress section. Then I've got some blouses. This is one that I love that I've had for a little over a year now. And then a couple of newer ones from ASOS. And also this one is new. This one is from Pia. I've only had this for, I don't know, a month or so. Um, so actually the blouses are like in the wrong order compared to the dresses, but I've got them in color order. So like lightest to darkest. And then I have my skirts. They're all midi skirts. These two at the front here are new. I picked these up a month or so ago. The front one is from Cotton On. The second one is from Pia. And then my older skirts. Then I've got my jeans. I've decided not to keep in the pair of jeans that I'm wearing, but instead to put in these ones. They have the rips, so I don't really wear them in winter. And then just a few things at the back. Denim jacket. Um, I took the blazer out because I didn't have enough hangers, but I'm going to hang it on... I do have wood hangers as well, so I'm going to hang it with the coats out on the other rack that's in my bedroom. So that is the hanging section for spring. And then... Down here I've kept a few really lightweight jumpers and there's also a spot for the jumper that I'm wearing right now because it's a really thin knit. And then I've got some shirts. So I've got a couple of black ones here. Um, those are both camis and then a variety of white shirts and also a grey one. This, is, this was hanging. This is the um, long sleeve roll neck that I put under dresses. But again, like I said, I ran out of hangers, so I've just popped it down here, and then these are all like t-shirts. I've just popped this dress here, again because I ran out of hangers, but also just to remind me that I need to get it altered. If I put it hanging up with all the others, I might just forget about it. So if it's here, then I'll see it every day. In this drawer, I have like my transitional pieces mostly, like the things that are gonna keep me warm when it kind of reverts back to wintry weather. So I've got a few of my thicker jumpers in here. I do have a space. I was thinking of putting the one that I'm wearing in there, but I don't know, I already have a space for that. Um, a couple of shirts that I can put under whatever I'm wearing. And then a couple of dresses. And then in the bottom drawer, this is mostly my loungewear stuff. So I've got um, chunky jumper, some track pants, a couple of like super comfortable dresses. This is actually a new pair of shorts that um, they're like loungewear shorts. I'm really excited to actually wear them. A couple more dresses here. And then I've popped my hoodie in here, like I said, again, because I ran out of hangers. So I thought, well, the hoodie is loungewear, so I'll just pop it in here. And then I've just got my raincoat here as well. So that is what is going on in my wardrobe right now. And that brings me to the end of today's video. I know I have a whole lot of dresses in here. I think I counted almost 20. Um, but I just live in dresses spring and summer. It's my favorite item of clothing to wear. It's just so easy. You slip it on, it's done. And so comfortable as well. So anyway, dresses are my jam. That's why I have so many of them. But for now, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy it. And I will see you again next time. Bye!